afternoon, kindergarten, and welcome to today's science lesson. Please open your science workbook to page 13. Today, we are going to be learning about living and non-living. Living things are things that grow, move, can reproduce, breathe, and die. So here is a young girl. She is a living thing. Animals like beagles or basset hounds are living things. Plants are living things. This is, it looks close to my favorite flower, fireweed. Non-living things are things that do not reproduce, do not breathe, do not move, do not change, do not grow, and um, that don't eat. So non-living things. This stuffed animal is non-living. This pail is non-living. The rocks and the sand are non-living. Okay? They don't move, they don't change, they don't grow. Okay. So the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write my name. Now I'm writing in pen so you can see it a little bit neater. M R S T U R N E R Mrs. Turner. Living things need food and water. They also need a place to live. Do non-living things need these? No way. So right here, you see that this frog, it is needing this food, which is a fly. This giraffe is needing drink, the pond. The plants are needing drink, water from the hose, and a place to live. This owl has found its spot in a tree. Plants can make more plants. Animals can have young. Can non-living things do this? There's that big word reproduce. That means to have more plants and to have young. Okay, when like when mommy has a baby, that's reproducing. So this new plant is making a new plant and they usually make a new plant by their roots or by seeds. This Duck has its little chicks, its ducklings. So here, let's draw a living thing getting water. Now, the living thing in my house gets its water from those bowls over there. My living thing is this living thing, which is Chispa. Chispa, look here. Chispa, look here, GB. There you go. They want to say hi to you. So Chispa is my dog, and Mom. I'm going to draw her right here. Okay, there's her nose, her mouth. Oh, Silas, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and there is her ears and her eyes. And here she has one leg, two legs, three legs, four legs. And she's got this thing on the back of her body called a tail. Okay, and she's also got brown eyebrows. Let's look here. Cheese ba. Let's show you brown eyebrows. No, she doesn't want to. And she is getting water from her bowl. And I'm gonna put a little ripple in the water because she's drinking from it. Okay. So, you are going to put your name at the top and upload a picture of your completed work of your living animal getting water. Okay. Or, 
you can choose to take a picture. If you don't want to draw something or if you don't like your drawing, sometimes people don't like their drawings. I don't think I did that great a job with my with my dog, Chispa. So I don't want to upload that one because I don't think I did a great job. I will upload this picture with my name at the top. So in the circle row, the circle row, circle the living thing. Now, this is an animal that moves, that grows, that reproduces. It is a living thing. This truck may move, but it doesn't get any bigger and it does not reproduce. These rocks, they might move if you throw them, but they don't grow and they also don't reproduce. In the yellow row, circle the non-living thing. The non-living, that means that it does not grow, it does not change, it does not reproduce, it does not drink water, it does not have a place to live. Now, this is a living thing, so I'm going to put an X through it. That is a living thing. I am circling the non-living thing. Now, you might tell Mrs. Turner, hey, Mrs. Turner, the clouds move, they change. Sometimes they might grow, but um, clouds, oh, and they might reproduce too. Hmm. But they don't make babies in that way, okay? <laughs> And they don't need a place to live either. 